Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a tutorial on this festive look which I created months and months ago. Completely forgot to edit it and I've actually used the products which I used to use a lot back in the day. So yeah, without wasting much time, let's get started with the tutorial. To prime my eyelids, I'm going to use the Cryolan Derma Color Camouflage Cream in D64 which I used to use so much in all my earlier videos. And I'm going to use the NYX Warm Neutrals Eyeshadow Palette and pick up that matte shade to set my eyelids. Then I'm taking that light brown shade on a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to apply that in my crease area. This is going to be my transition shade. I am going to layer that eyeshadow till I'm happy with the intensity. But before I move ahead, I'm just going to apply some tape which will help me get a precise liner and also give a desired shape for the eye look. Then I'm taking that rich brown uh, shade and again applying that in my crease area using the same fluffy brush. I'm going to apply these shadows till I'm happy with the intensity. And then I'm taking that uh, like orange terracotta kind of uh, burnt orange shade and then again apply that in my crease. This is going to add a lot of warmth to the whole look. Absolutely love these matte shades from the palette. Then for my lid, I'm going to use this pack eyeshadow. I can't recollect the name of it, but it's a beautiful like a, a peachy pinky color. And I'm going to pack this on my lid else it won't show up like the pigment won't show up. And then I'm taking the darkest color from the NYX palette on a small shade of brush and applying it very lightly and then blending it since it's very pigmented. I'm going to reapply it little by little till I'm happy with the smokiness in my outer corner. So as you can see I'm just concentrating it in the outer corner and yeah blending everything in place. I'm also going to add a little bit more of the lid color which might have got uh, washed out while blending. For eyeliner, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Gel Eyeliner in black. I really do like the eyeliner. It's very rich, very easy to work with and glides on very well. And the tape really helps me to get a good wing liner because I'm so bad at it. I really struggle with my wing liner. Moving on to the face, I'm going to use the Cryolan Orange Corrector for my dark circles. This is a very nice affordable orange corrector but availability is an issue. And for foundation, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Matte Magic 12 hour foundation. This is a very medium coverage sort of foundation. I do have a full review on this on my channel. So I'm just going to buff that in with my It Cosmetics uh, brush. And for concealer, I'm using the LA Girl Concealer in Pure Beige. This is just going to correct the under eye circles. And I did apply a bit of the foundation on the orange corrector as well. And I'm going to blend that with my YBP Makeup Perfector sponge. Next I'm going to use the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium. This one is absolutely amazing for the drugstore and I'm going to use this to highlight my face. So as you can see I'm applying this in the regular areas where I highlight and I'm blending it again with the YBP Makeup Perfector which is my current holy grail uh, beauty blender sponge. It's so good. I love it more than the original beauty blender. Moving on to contour but before that I did set my face using the Bharat and Doris loose powder in the shade 03 and yeah I'm using the first shade from the contour palette on my pack 330 brush I think it is to contour my face and this contour palette is one of the best I've ever tried it's re seriously so good You know I never skip my bronzer so for bronzer I'm using the L'Oreal Glam Bronze which is a beautiful matte bronzer very buildable and really nice for Indian skin tones really love the quality of this. Then I'm going to use the same Bharat and Doris loose powder and I'm going to heavily bake my face. After a couple of minutes, I'm just going to dust off the excess powder under my eyes else it will make it very dry and I'm going to move on to complete my eye makeup. So I'm going to use the same NYX palette. And Thank you. 
I'm also going to add a little bit of that pack eyeshadow very close to my inner corner just for a pop of color and then taking that highlight shade from the palette I'm going to highlight my brow bone and I'm going to use the same one for my inner corner as well and I just created three tiny dots using the same gel liner on my Inglot uh, liner brush this isn't necessary I just wanted to do something different and for blush I'm using the elf blush palette now these are amazing very very pigmented and so affordable and for highlight I'm going to use the sleek solstice highlighting palette I think that's what it is called and I'm going to use a gorgeous golden kind of highlight shade and these are extremely pigmented you guys you have to use a very very light hand with these highlighters so I'm going to use a L'Oreal Silk is my eyeliner on my waterline. I'm just going to line just the outer corner of it and then smudge it with a brush because it's very rich and creamy. And for lashes, I use these pack eyelashes, which I think for some reason didn't apply very well. And I'm using a Nelf USA lip liner. The shade name is not mentioned on it. And I used the Kat Von D Bachelorette liquid lipstick. And for some reason, my camera just stopped recording that time. But it's a gorgeous bright pink. And yeah, that's the look. So guys, this is the final look. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I'm really, really happy with the way it looks. And I think it's such a pretty look which you can wear for like functions or weddings. You can definitely change the lip color as per your option. If you don't want something as bright as this, you can go for something more like paler or a nude lip. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you all did, then please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll meet you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.